It's gonna be a bad winter. We didn't have a good winter last. I don't last want a bad winter. I just don't want any snow. It could be cold, mm. but no snow. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. Just it could be just cold. cold it could be no snow. Zero. I don't care. Just I don't want snow. You have four wheel drive. So I do, matter. but I don't want snow. snow. I don't want to deal with digging my car out. We need snow you know? for Christmas. No, we don't. It's what? Okay. It's just, not Christmas just without put snow. Just your, put your tree up. Put the no. lights on. Turn it off. When are you putting your tree up? Um, after Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. we put it up the day before Christmas, and we leave it on until May. Hey, we're, we're, we're lazy. The ghetto. We're lazy. The ghetto. Wait, do you go out and buy a tree, or are you gonna? Uh, do you, is there a? I'm gonna tree? buy mine. Wow. But I want a little silver tree so I can have pink accessories. That's not Christmas. I don't care. Okay. It's my Christmas. It's a fabulous Christmas. Mm, I don't. I don't hear Santa when I hear silver tree. Christmas is not about Santa Claus. What's Christmas about? We're remembering the birth of Christ. Of course, yes. Uh, of course, you want <laughs> the birth to of church. Christ. You want yes. to that church tomorrow? Yeah, right? no, no, no. The birth of Christ mm. for, for sure. Okay. But Santa is really my present. To whoever you know. And then you know my birthday is right after Christmas. It so, is. So Joe's birthday coming up. So people have to save up, do what you have to do, uh, <laughs> sell what you have to sell, <laughs> steal what because you have of, to steal. Because of your birthday. For my birthday. I think. Christmas is not that right. important, but my birthday right after Christmas for sure. Christmas is very important. It is, but my birthday is a little bit more important. So what's been going on this week? A lot, a lot happened this week, but you know we're gonna take a short little break, and uh, when we okay. get back, uh, we'll uh, finish the rest. Welcome back. You're still watching Civic Entertainment Gossip Television. You know we the best. This is what we do. Of course. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't the best. At all. <laughs> but we do love all of our competition, so shout out to all of our competition. We see you. We see you. And we know you see us. <laughs> okay? No shaking. <laughs> Anyways, in all seriousness. Yo, Instagram. Instagram, Instagram has oh. been wowing for respect. <sighs> It's too much. Gonna, they're gonna take away our likes and our comments, right? So not necessarily our likes. Like you can still see your likes. Okay. But you won't be able to see other people's oh. likes and views. Like you know, video views. Yes, like how yes. many people viewed this yes. person's video yes. versus yours. Yes. You can still see your own stuff, but you okay. can't see other people's stuff. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Woo. So Instagram. It's, they're doing too much because nah, I just. I mean, it's okay because you know it was just a little group of people that they were trying to test this out on, but now they've done it. Glo they're doing it globally. I like it. I like it. I mean, I don't care for. I don't care what they do. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, they're trying to make other people feel good about themselves. You shouldn't be on social media if you don't feel good about yourself. That is true. And it's not everything that, that is glitters true. is gold. Like mm -hmm. you seeing someone, or they're driving the latest car, they're wearing a Gucci belt, they mm -hmm. have this bag that. Mm -hmm but they sleep on the ground at yes. home on a mattress. Like, they don't even have a full bed set, okay? Not me. So, Not me. they're trying to like save people from depression. Target. Listen, if Instagram or social media is doing the scene, I think you should just get off social media. Maybe go to therapy. A Bible, pick up a Bible. Something, because yes. it's ridiculous. Yes, but I, I care about my likes, so I'm not gonna lie. I picture, don't care, I don't necessarily don't care. care. Like, I don't care. You don't care? No. <laughs> the adult in the room. I personally care about my likes. If I don't get enough likes, I'm deleting the picture. Why though? Like, uh -huh. it, for me, it doesn't matter. Like, that shouldn't, like, determine who you are. You know one thing I know about Instagram? What? I notice on my story, uh -huh. I'll get, like, 600 people will look at my story. But they're not liking your they're actual picture. They're not liking picture. my picture. I'm only yes. getting 150 likes, and there's 600 looking at my story. Hmm. What's that all about? Haters. <laughs> Next topic, this is too much. haters. <laughs> it's that too will be my much. next topic. It's too much. It's so ridiculous. I'm glad Instagram is doing this. It's it, People are crazy. I'm not going to lie. The first thing I do after I thank God when I wake up, mm -hmm. I always go on Instagram. Uh, oh, for some yeah, reason. Yeah, because it's like, oh, like, let me see what's going yeah, on. Like, what I miss? I'll let me see who DM yeah, me. Let me see who liked my picture real quick. Just Lord. Because I was asleep for a good solid eight hours. I get my sleep. I always sleep for I don't lay on my sleep, but I don't like actively post like you know people actually post and post in. Yes. I do like the little videos. Yeah. You know, the little yeah. posts that will delete in twenty four hours. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Yes. I don't need yes. That, you know, like you, you have like a million work. comments and you have to go and acknowledge every comment. Oh it's, no. I acknowledge it's every stressful. comment. If I do have, too, but I do I do like, like an overall thank you everyone. Wow. Like 
bougie. It's not I bougie. Not, I'm time. humble, so I acknowledge every I comment, and I love anyone who comments, <laughs> even if it's hate, if it's shade. One person, one person tried me in my, my little picture that I put. I put Fiddler on the roof. I was literally on the roof. Fiddler? You put, Fiddler that was your caption? Roof. That was my caption. What picture I was, was this? I was on the roof. I had a rain jacket on. It was great. I looked like oh, a weatherman. Oh, yes. Yes, I hate I didn't even, I yes. didn't even realize. I'm like, oh, this joke. I was looking cute. I was there on, on, on the heavy side. I'm not going to lie. I, was, I did. Maybe that shirt or what I ate at lunch. But <laughs> I was looking good. And somebody commented, and I commented right back, even though it was hate. But I showed love. Fiddler on the roof. That's, it was good. Mm. Fiddler on the roof. Okay, Joe, I hear you. So speaking of Instagram, so Instagram comedian who's Nigerian. Yes. African ace, originally known as African ape. ape. Is oh. expecting his first child with his fiance. I personally think he's not the funniest. He's not the funniest, but he's funny. He's funny. He's, he's funny. funny. Yeah. I like Crazy Clown a little bit better than him. Crazy Clown is okay. I like Chief OB. Uh, Chief OB. He's hilarious. Look, hilarious. Okay, he's he's hilarious. I am Dulo's funny though. Dulo's okay. I, I Dulo. think I like Dulo's voiceover. Yeah, yeah, with, with the animals. That's very on point. Him. Okay, but but Chief Obi does it for me. I'm sorry, it's not a it's not a tribe thing. He's just funny. Well, funny it's, a, it's a little bit of a tribe thing. It's not a tribe a thing. Chief Obi is hilarious yeah, in the Ebo community. You know, uh, he's a little bit. I like him though. I like Chief Obi. I think I he's laugh, hilarious. I laugh at plenty. But if you he, he also speaks Ebo, and if you can understand Ebo, yes. you'll be like really cracking up. Of course, up. of course, hilarious. of course. He's good. He's good. Yeah, he, he might MC my wedding. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm Ryan Dua. But I know Ryan Dua is funny. Now. He is. He's funny. African Ape, you know what? You're up there too. So you can. African name. A's. Now. Plus just launched, yes, it did. but Netflix just came back with a counter, and Crazy they have Lord. teamed up with Nickelodeon. Yeah! If you grew up on Nickelodeon, you are excited as much as we are. I was jumping for joy. It, this happened yesterday. It did, but uh, what's your favorite Nickelodeon show? So I liked As Told by Ginger. Uh, yes, that's Hey good. Arnold. Hey Arnold was good. Hey Arnold was good. Doug. Doug. No, don't play Doug. Doug. Was I right. loved Doug. What? Doug was right. Rugrats. Of course, like Rugrats, one. everyone has to like Rugrats. Real Monsters was cool. I didn't like it. It was okay. I didn't like no? it. No? Mm -mm. mm -mm. I didn't like Cat Dog, so y'all could scratch that. Cat, yeah, I, did, I wasn't a fan of Cat Dog That's either. Um, <laughs> uh, Nigel and the Wild Thornberries. That yeah, was that was my okay. show. It was what? Okay. Nigel? It was uh, okay. That was too much. Rocket was okay. Power. Rocket Power! Rocket oh my power. God. Yes. Yeah, this is bringing back childhood memories. It is, it is. Yeah. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon is really, uh, are they doing like, is it only just the cartoons or like the other shows? Like, my They're doing like me. movies and then they're doing like shows. They might revamp it or like keep, nice, you know, nice. original things. I like But that. I'm excited. I like, like excited. I like what Netflix is doing. Netflix has a lot of good like shows. No, Netflix be making their moves. They Netflix do. Be making their moves. Speaking of Netflix, so Kerry Washington was just featured in a movie on Netflix called American Sun. You didn't tell me you didn't. I got me. It. You haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. No. American Sun. It's good. Okay, Washington. American it was, listen, the whole thing took place in one place at a police station. That was it. But it was so impactful. Okay. okay. Go watch American Sun. All right. All right. Go watch Harriet. It talks about what's going on and currently. You, currently? It's not even like in the past? Currently. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll go watch that. That'll be, that's Netflix. all my next. To do list. Mm -hmm. I was actually just watching Merlin on Netflix. I know people. What is know. it called? Merlin. Merlin. It's like a nerdy show. I don't think you would watch it. It's like a nerdy like no. uh, dragon tail type. Not dragon tail. I mean, yeah. I'm a thug. I don't do dragon tail, but you know, <laughs> uh, like a like a knights type of uh, Game of Thrones type of thing. I'm not a Game of Thrones girl. <laughs> oh, you. When you think you know somebody, shout out to all my Game of Thrones <laughs> friends. Everyone knows. I'm sorry. That 
No, it's the best show on TV. I can't get into it. I watched one episode. I was like, no. No, you have to watch the first season. That's what I first... watched. The first no. episode of the first season. And I okay. was like, this is it, not for It starts me. off slow, but I promise you. It, it was change, too slow. It changes your life after the first season. All right, I'm going to force Elizabeth to watch Game of Thrones. That's <laughs> you fine. You can't force me. I can do it. By force or by fire, she will finish all eight <laughs> seasons of Game of Thrones. And she will be back on board <laughs> like us. I promise you we will not let this go unpunished for sure. Game of Thrones is the best show on TV. I, I rather more black people on the show, but that's neat to hear. All American is the best. With Tay Diggs? Yes. Shout out to my boy Negebu Masango, Bo Mason. He, really? He, he has a uh, song on uh, All American. Oh, he does? Yes, yes. Mm, I'm proud awesome. of him. I'm very proud of him. He's yeah. making big moves. I'm low key jealous. I don't um, know who that is, but uh, congrats. He was my best, <laughs> he's my best friend since, since college. So he, uh, okay. so he's a singer. I mean, well, I, shout out to him. Shout out to Bo. I'm, I'm a singer. I'm a singer too, but you know, only in the shower. So stay in the shower. I'm, well, yeah. I'm a. I'm a. My debut will come. Don't worry. One day. One day. God, but anyways, God has me, Joe. <laughs> so remember, I don't know how many shows ago we talked about that Nigerian pastor, Gucci pastor. Yes, Gucci pastor. Yes. Yes. So remember, the lady came out. Busola came out with yes. the allegations that she was raped At as a teenager. I think she was 17, 17, 18. 17, yeah. So. um She's been ordered to pay one million naira. So they dropped the case. And the case was dismissed. I mean, it's from twenty years ago. The courts were like, "This is a waste of our time." It's you know, everything was it. based on sentiment. There's still the police. The police investigation is still taking place, mm-hmm. but it's hard because this is like twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. But they dismissed it. It's hard. It's really and hard. you know, he filed for an affidavit and stuff like that in the courts because he said. She was just doing it to ridic- so he could be ridiculed, embarrassed, et cetera, et cetera. Take down his name. Take down, yeah, it really, but it did take down his of name. Course. But of course. she's been ordered to pay yeah. one million naira. And they, the court said that they should have even made her pay like 10 times more than that for wasting their time. Mm. Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. Me Too movement is going on, but I don't think Nigeria is fully, fully. No, not fully. We're fully. not fully, fully right now. No, 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 we're not. We're not. Saying it, this is not. That's not that's America. Gonna, that's gonna so take some time. That's gonna, it's gonna take, take time. time. But but it, they're in. They're at least in the right direction. I would say for them to even for it to even make it to court. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I feel like it's because they're public figures. Of course. Of course. They're in the spotlight. Of course. But there are real people, little girls, little boys who do go through things, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's never spoken of. So, but social they're media. gonna use their influence yeah. to you know come out, and people are gonna listen to them because these are influential people. Mm-hmm. So social media is making yeah. it hard to cover things up. So yeah, so I, I couldn't even believe that. I was shocked. So I have a question for you. Go ahead. And you know I thought this is this is quite interesting. Mm-hmm. So let's say your ex mis- mistakenly sends you eighty thousand dollars, right, mm-hmm. to your account, mm-hmm. and then they call you and ask for it back. Mm-hmm. How you have to reply to your ex, but only in three words. What three words would you would you say? My phone died. <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is blessings. <laughs> this, is blessings. <laughs> this is blessings. Mine is it's beyond me. Oh wow, eight thousand now. It's be beyond me. First of all, sorry. Like, it's happen? beyond me means uh, you got to talk to God about that one because you're not getting it back. It's beyond me. It's, it's, it's above us. That's it's, what it's, it's, it's above us. Me. It's God. beyond me. God, God, God can take it from here. <laughs> Eighty thousand. I'm out. I'm, uh, I'm telling my mom, way out. Back go back. Somebody out. wrote, "Who is this?" <laughs> the internet is funny. It is. It Undefeated. Is. It is. I love the internet. That's yeah. why I'm on it all day, every day. You know, even yeah. when I'm supposed to be working, I'm on the internet. I mean, it's entertaining. My lunch, like, I literally just close the door to my office yep. and I just eat and I'm on Instagram like, yep. let me see what's going on. That's my lunch. That's me too. That's yeah. Me too. I mean, it brings you back, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, all good. So there's another quote or question that I saw that I've been seeing a lot of lately. Okay. So they were saying, like, for friends and loved ones, when they're in need, like, you know, maybe like a situation with their health and they need money. Mm-hmm. Nobody's really there to assist them, mm-hmm. but once somebody dies, fundraisers are raised like this. Now the money's available. Why do we wait for people to die to appreciate people or to fight for them or to make sure that I guess their the rest of their family are taken care of or their funeral expenses are taken care of? Us. Why can't we take care of people while, when they're around? 
That's true. That's but true. this is what we do as human beings. That is. That's exactly what we you do know? as human beings. If somebody says, oh, I'm, re I'm doing a GoFundMe to help this person there in the hospital, they have hospital bills. Nobody's really, you know, hell-bent on raising money. Mm -hmm. But as soon as the person dies, it's like, oh, everyone is donating. Yeah. The person's not alive. Like, this is stuff you should have done when they're alive. Just like they'll tell you, give someone flowers while they can still smell it, mm -hmm. not when they're dead. You know, I mean, death is scary. So <sighs> when people hear death, they just want to throw money. They want to help. I get that. They want to help the family. Like you said, funeral yeah. arrangements, what the family condition, like let's say it's a husband dying and his wife and his kids got to, you know, you want to help yeah, them. Yeah, to make sure that they're fine. Correct. You but, think about them. You don't even think about the person that died. You think about the family. those people are still there when that family member is sick. That is true. They still need assistance. You know what I mean? Yes. And um, recently, in, this week actually, at work, a colleague of mine was telling me about how her friend just passed away. Sheesh. She's in her 40s, you know. And it just brings back memories because, you know, I lost my dad early. Mm -hmm. And it's and it happened suddenly. Like, we didn't have a lot of time with my dad. Mm -hmm. But, you know, life is so short. And we do take a lot of things and people for granted. We do. And on Instagram, I saw, like, a write-up. It says... You know that job that you have that you're complaining about somebody that's somebody else's dream job yes you know what i mean yes the car that you're like oh this car is so old is someone else's dream, dream car. car yes you know the food that your family provides for you that you don't want to eat because you want something else somebody else wishes that mm -hmm. they had that mm -hmm. you know what i mean yes the clothes everything you have that you complain about because we we're so quick to complain, and when we complain, we don't even know we're complaining. Mm -hmm. We take so much for granted. We take life for granted, mm -hmm. and holding grudges. We do. Oh, I'm. I'm no petty. more. I'm petty. I hold grudges. I'm not petty. Like I've learned to just, you know, we could argue, agree to disagree, but I'm not gonna go to bed angry, mm -hmm. holding that against you because God forbid somebody goes to sleep and they don't wake up the next day. Then what? Yeah. Oh, you fought over something so stupid. You now see how minute the situation was, mm -hmm. but it's too late. Mm -hmm. So lesson learned is don't take nobody or anything for granted, and you should still love on people while they're still here. Yes. Yeah. I'm smoking like a true pastor. Okay. No. Thanksgiving is coming up, and Thanksgiving, yes, we are thankful and grateful for certain things, but that shouldn't be the only time that you remember things that you're thankful for. Mm -hmm. Every day should be like a day where you thank God for everything that you do have. Because the more and more, and the, the more and more you, you thank yes. God for things, the more He multiplies the good things Amen. in your life. You gotta, you gotta like, yes. really, really practice yes. Yes. to have like an attitude of gratitude. And it's big. And it's big. speaking of Thanksgiving, yes, I'm taking it to open invitations to all Thanksgiving family members <laughs> who wants to provide for me. I will be picking oh, up between the hours of seven and nine. I'll be picking up. I won't even say hi or nothing. Just leave my <laughs> dish on the front porch. I will, I'll leave a note and I will continue on my merry way. Just yeah. throwing it out there. I do Sounds like, good. I do like protein, chicken, beef, <laughs> turkey. Don't even give me turkey. Give me goats. Give me oh, like, goat for sure. For you sure. Know, fried for meats. Sure. Uh, no, I'm actually shaking, getting hungry. You know. I'm getting hungry right now. <laughs> Thank God for Thanksgiving. But yes, we would like to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving in advance. In, in advance. advance. Yes. Happy Turkey Day. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's announcement time. So... There's a lot of festivities going on in New Jersey. You cannot say, oh, I don't know what to do. There are things to do every weekend. Every weekend. Before the year is over. And let us enjoy 2019. Enjoy the rest of your year, because this year went by so fast. Even in the cold, I'm still out there. Probably. I'm coming out. I'm coming. Just give me my fur coat. Out. <laughs> you might come out of heels, too. <laughs> I'm gonna have my heels on. She's gonna have her heels yes, on. Yes, I will. Especially on a uh, Friday night, right? Friday. So Friday, November twenty second, from six p.m. to ten p.m. Eh, you know the time is a little funny because us Africans don't party at six p.m. We don't. And we don't end parties at ten p.m. either. We don't. Just use your head small. You'll understand what I'm saying to you. So IC Magazine is having an end of the year celebration. VIP night, and we will be at Tribes Lounge, 
in East Orange. You will see me. Jersey. You will see me. I'm there. I might be. I might come in traditional. I'll be there. I might come in traditional. I don't know. It Why? depends on how I'm feeling. Oh, it depends, it depends on, how on your mood. I might be traditional. I might look. I might look a little hood. <laughs> but if he's I, gonna be there and live I'm in gonna color. Be, I'm gonna be and live in color. And if you want to take pictures with me, you know, ladies, of course, fellas too. But fellas, not not too much, not too many big handshake. Handshake. That's it. We can do the point when we take our picture. We can point at each other like this. <laughs> I hate that. What? That's the stop. What? That's the. It's like, just like girls. Right. What are you guys pointing at? All right. So why do girls when girls do this? We're selling assets now. Right. Because, right. So, so when, leave us alone. When a leave guy does this, this, this is this? This is our asset. We can't do this. But what are you guys pointing at? Uh, we point at whatever that's pointing back at us. <laughs> at this. That's what we do. We point. Like, Anyways, hey, come out November 22nd we and we'll be there. there and live in color. And there's going to be a popular comedian there too, Dawuda, known as Forget It. <laughs> so come out and have a good time with us. Enjoy. The dress code is. Classy, classy, classy magazine, classy things. Please, please. And then on Saturday, <laughs> following up from that, we will be celebrating a ten-year anniversary. Uh, Prestige will be celebrating yes. a ten-year anniversary. I'll be there. I'll be dressing classy myself too. It's another black tie, black tie event. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very fun. It's going to have a lot of heavy hitters. P Square will be there performing. Half of P half Square. Of P, half of P Square. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take half of P Square. Yeah. He's going to be there performing. It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of people. Food, drinks. We're having a good time. Yes, you know what I'm saying? And you also have to have a ticket prior to the event. You do. You do need to buy a ticket before mm -hmm. you come to the event. I don't mm -hmm. want you coming to the door and trying to trying to buy it because they will, <laughs> will overprice it. All right? You know? But we will be enjoying this weekend for sure. Yeah. Next weekend, actually. Yes. So, yeah. so to end the year, social club by the name of Odima Anedo mm -hmm. will be having their end of the year event December 14th at the Sacred Heart on Roof Street yes. in Irvington. Yes, yes. The yes, time yes. is from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. But like I said, 7 p.m. is a little early, but you know what to do. African attire, that's the dress code. <laughs> of course. This is a traditional organization. You got to come correct. And I'm always coming correct. So African, you know wearing, African know attire. Me and me and me and Elizabeth gonna match. I'll be there. We're not matching, but We're not matching. Yep, you and your girlfriend should match. I'm uh, coming though. Yes. You gonna tell them that? But I don't. I'm. I'm a player. I'm a player from the Himalayas. So there's a lot going on this winter, fall slash winter. But um, come out and have a good time with us. Definitely. The community definitely. has a lot going on. And watch out for more life in New Jersey. Yes. Definitely gonna be playing. We definitely getting bigger. We getting yes. stronger. And we I, life in New Jersey does highlights of all your events. And we are lit. Yeah. Every event. You might see me actually at every event, dancing. <laughs> okay. Every you might. Event. You might. I'm still young. I'm still vibrant. So I might be at every event. Trust and believe. I'll be there at every event. So I want to see everyone the there. But okay. I'll be there for ICT Entertainment. All right? Yes. I'm there. <laughs> so once again, thank you for joining us. And you are watching Civic Entertainment Gossip Television. We, we see you.